The very first time St. Louis Mayor Tashara Jones is publicly criticizing the city's top attorney. She says Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner has lost the people's trust. Those comments coming in the wake of the devastating crash involving a 17 year old volleyball player from out of town. The accused driver out on bond after violating his bond 51 times in the circuit attorney's office, still not taking any steps to have him arrested. News 4's Russell Kinsall has more from City Hall. Yeah, Mayor Tashara Jones did not call for Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner to resign. She said she wants to work with her office to make sure this doesn't happen again. But she did say she was very concerned that Gardner was not taking any responsibility for what went wrong. Over the weekend, the life of 17-year-old Janae Edmondson of Tennessee was changed forever. The teen was in town for a volleyball tournament, but she was pinned between two cars because of an accident at 11th and St. Charles. She lost both her legs. The driver, 21-year-old Daniel Riley, didn't have a license, should not have been out driving Saturday. He's on house arrest for armed robbery, but has violated his bond 51 times. The circuit attorney's office had been notified, but took no action to have him arrested. The mayor said something needs to be done so missteps like this by the circuit attorney's office don't happen again. This incident and others have highlighted the fact that some improvements need to be made in her office. And um, she really needs to do some soul searching on whether or not she wants to continue as circuit attorney because she's lost the trust of the people. Missteps by the office, I, I will... I'll, I'll be totally honest with you. Missteps by the office have damaged the reputation of the city. If you look at what's going on in the Missouri legislature, um, they are uh, coupling these two issues together with the with uh, state control of the police department, as well as uh, taking away the authority of the circuit attorney's office. While Mayor Jones did not call for Gardner's resignation, others have from Jefferson City here to St. Louis City Hall. Coming up on News 4 at 5, you're going to hear from a Democratic member of the Board of Aldermen who is calling for Gardner to step down. That's coming up on News 4 at 5. Live downtown, Russell Kins on News 4. And in fact, we have more on that right now in addition because there are calls for Gardner to step down right now. 28th Ward Alderman Michael Grouse, who supported Gardner's election and re-election bids, now issuing a statement saying in part, quote, her performance in office is only getting worse. She has either dropped or failed to bring charges for crimes that have outraged the community and endangered all of us. And at the end of the statement, the alderman went on to say, I am calling on Circuit Attorney Gardner to resign. Democratic State Representative Rasheen Aldridge, who does represent part of the city of St. Louis, also criticizing Gardner's response to this wreck that caused Janae Edmondson to lose both of her legs. Aldridge said, as elected officials, we owe it to the people we serve to take responsibility and own our mistakes when our negligence leads to these kinds of tragedies. He said, I'm disappointed in Circuit Attorney Gardner's tone deaf response that focuses more on herself than the young woman whose life has irrevocably been changed. I hope she reflects on what her office did wrong and how she can do better in the future so others can visit our great city safely.